Put your car into first gear. This method only works for cars that have a manual transmission, as you will need to use the clutch. Pull the gear shift, either next to your steering wheel or your right leg, and shift it to first gear. Then gradually press on the accelerator and drive forward slowly. As your car picks up some speed, 15 to 20 miles per hour, begin to turn your steering wheel in the direction you want your donut to go. Note this step is not about making the donut, but about positioning your car so that you are ready to do so. Only turn your steering wheel 45 degrees, while making one slow, large circle with your car. Continue making the large circle a few times, getting used to how your car feels and the way it turns. Turn your steering wheel as to perform a tighter circle. It is important that this step, and the following step, be done one right after another, fairly quickly. Continue to press gradually on your accelerator. Turn your steering wheel so that it is positioned somewhere between a 45 to 90 degree angle in the same direction as before. As you are turning your wheel, press all the way down on your clutch and pull up on your handbrake. Your car's rear wheels will begin to lock up as your car begins to skid. Floor the accelerator and release the clutch and handbrake. It is important that this step, and the previous step, be done one right after another, fairly quickly. As your car's rear wheels lock, and your begins to skid, floor the accelerator. At the same time you are flooring your accelerator, you should also release both the clutch and the handbrake. If you have enough speed, your car should now begin to spin and perform a donut. Decelerate slowly after 1 to 2 donuts. After you have completed between 1 to 2 donuts, bring your car back to normal speed by lifting up on the accelerator. As you are slowing down, begin to turn your wheel back to the straightforward position. You will want to aim your car in the direction of an open space of blacktop. After you have the car under control, press on the clutch and shift your car back into park. Shift your car into first gear. Shift into first gear if your car has a manual transmission. Go into hill climbing gear if your car has an automatic transmission. The gear shift is located either next to your steering wheel or your right leg. As you are shifting your car into gear, turn your steering wheel completely in one direction. Press on your accelerator. Floor the throttle and your car should begin to turn in one direction. As the car is sliding, yank the hand brake to begin the rear wheel slide. Manage both the power and the brake. To keep the car spinning and gliding on the rear wheels, you will have to continuously press on the accelerator and lift the handbrake. After you have done so once, let off the accelerator slightly, and let the handbrake go. When your car begins to lose power, and therefore some of the spin, press on the throttle again, and lift the handbrake. Be careful not to rev your engine too much in first gear. If you do this more than 5 to 6 times it can start to damage your engine. To stop the donuts, simply let off the accelerator slightly, while jerking your steering wheel back to the center position. Press on the clutch and brake as you shift back into park. Shift your car into reverse gear. This method only works with cars that have a manual transmission as you will need to use the clutch. Start by turning your steering wheel to one direction. As you do this, shift your car into reverse. The gear shift should be located either next to your steering wheel or right leg. Begin to back your car up. First press the clutch. As you do this, floor the accelerator. Once the accelerator is floored, let up from the clutch. Your car will begin to lurch backwards, as the front wheels begin to lose grip and start to slide. The front will start to rotate around the back wheels. Back off the throttle slightly. Hold the accelerator at a constant, medium strength position. 
turn your wheel sharply. After your car begins to slide on the back wheels, jerk your steering wheel all the way to the opposite direction. The donuts that are produced will generate severe pressure against your body lateral g-force. Once you have completed the donuts, bring your steering wheel back to the center position and lower the accelerator down so you are at around 20 miles per hour. You may have to jerk the wheel slightly back and forth to maintain control of the car. Press down on the clutch and brake as you shift your car back into park. Turn off the traction control on your car before you do any donuts. This is key, otherwise the tires might lock up and not spin properly. Put your key in the ignition, and turn to start your car. While your car is still in park, turn off traction control. There is generally a button on the left or right side of the steering wheel allowing you to disable traction control. See your owner's manual if there is no such button. Do not turn off traction control before you start your car. The default setting for traction control is on. This means that traction control will turn on after the ignition starts. A light is likely to appear on your dashboard above your steering wheel calling your attention to the fact that traction control has been turned off. Do not worry about this light, as it will disappear once you finish spinning donuts, and turn traction control back on. Find a clear open space to spin donuts. The surface of the space should ideally be blacktop rather than grass or dirt. It is best to spin donuts on a barren parking lot, or back road. Make sure that you have enough space, not just for your car, but for when it begins to spin in circles. You should also make sure that the surrounding space does not have any houses, trees, or other obstructions. Though you can also do donuts in snowy areas, avoid icy or slick areas as these can present a safety hazard. Check the tread on your tires. You do not want to spin donuts with tires that are already worn down, and or need replacing. To check the tread, perform the penny test, take a penny and place it in one of the tire's tread ribs. Make sure Lincoln's head is facing down. If the tread rib covers the entire head, you have enough tread on your tire to safely spin donuts. If the head is more than halfway showing, you should think about replacing your tires. You can either do this yourself by purchasing tires online, or visiting your nearest car care professional. Maintain your car's fluids. Make sure that your oil has been recently changed. You should also change your power steering and brake fluids. These are severely important, as spinning donuts puts a tremendous amount of pressure on your car. You need to make sure it is in top shape before you take it out. Please visit your nearest car care professional, or use the following links to change your car's fluids. How to change the oil in your car. How to flush power steering fluid. How to refill brake fluid. You should also perform an overall check on your car's internal components. Check your engine, transmission, muffler, etc. To make sure they are in tip-top shape. Visit, how to do a maintenance inspection for your car. Bring some friends along with you. Generally speaking, spinning donuts is safe. However, in case of an emergency, you should always have people on standby. This could be a couple of friends or relatives who are willing to go out with you. Have them stand far away from where you are spinning donuts. 
This way there is no chance that they can get hurt, and therefore will be able to call someone in case of an emergency. Make sure your phone is charged up before you go out, as well as your friend's phones. Have your local sheriff's office and emergency personnel phone numbers on hand in the event of an emergency.